This week's Ask Dr. Drury comes from a patient who has heard of some new oral medications that could be used to treat COVID-19 infection. And the question is, are these types of uh, oral pills going to be important for myeloma patients? And uh, my answer to that is most likely uh, yes, because we know that myeloma patients do not have the full antibody response to vaccination. And so some patients do remain at risk for getting infected and also having problems if they would develop a COVID-19 infection. And so the availability of these potential new agents is going to be quite important, I think. And so there are, are several. One is from the pharmaceutical company uh, Merck, and they have a, a new pill which has just been approved in the United Kingdom and its trade name uh, in the UK is Lagavrio, and it's a, a pill that you take twice a day for five days, and it really has a big impact on uh, reducing uh, the likelihood of getting sick or having to be uh, hospitalized. Uh, and so I think that this, as uh, many people have said, could be a, a game changer, and this could be quite important for myeloma patients. There is a second uh, similar type of uh, antivirus uh, pill being developed by the uh, Pfizer company. And this apparently, uh, data on that will be submitted to the FDA relatively uh, soon. Another medication uh, which is important yeah. is an antidepressant called fluvoxamine. And this is a cheap antidepressant which was recently evaluated in a large study in Brazil where over 700 patients got this antidepressant and over 700 individuals did not and the risk of getting uh, complications or being hospitalized was really substantially reduced in the individuals who were taking this antidepressant. Now, this antidepressant uh, does have some side effects, but mostly uh, patients were able to complete the course of treatment. It's cheap, it's already approved and on the market, and so this could be a potential additional new resource uh, for myeloma patients. Now already we do have antivirals available and we also do have the monoclonal antibody treatment which is available and this can be quite important and reduce complications, especially if used uh, early on. And so the bottom line in this case is that yes, these uh, active treatments against the virus I think will be especially important for patients with uh, active myeloma uh, needing therapy where the antibody response to vaccination may be less than we would like. So I suggest uh, stay tuned in the coming months. These therapies will be moving forward in uh, the regulation process and uh, you'll be hearing more about them, but an important new development for sure.